Rude Giants by Audrey Wood. Long ago, Beatrix the Buttermaid and her best friend Gerda the Cow lived in a cozy cottage in a happy valley. Let's see. Every morning after tea, Beatrix served Gerda the freshest yellow hay, and Gerda gave Beatrix the sweetest milk to make into butter and sell at the market. The girl and the cow never had a care in the world. Until the day... Two rude giants came over the mountains and moved into the empty castle on the hill. The rude giants were clumsy, loud, and selfish. They trampled the flowers, quarreled until the birds stopped singing, and stole whatever they wanted from whomever they pleased. What will those rude giants do next? The villagers wondered. But life must go on. So on market day, as usual, Beatrix the butter maid and Gerda the cow set off for the market to sell their butter. They hadn't traveled far when a great hand reached down and scooped Gerda up into the sky. Yum, the giantess bellowed. Food! Beatrix jumped onto one of the giant's shoes and held on tight. Thump, thump, thump. In three giant steps, the giantess returned to the castle and tossed Gerda onto a table before her husband. Quickly, the buttermaid climbed up the table leg and pulled herself onto the top. Stop! Beatrix exclaimed. You can't eat the finest cow in all the land. And she's holding onto his, his shoe. She said, Stop! Huh? The rude giant said, Why not? Because, the buttermaid answered, you don't know how to make her taste delicious. Tell us how, the rude giant shouted. Why, just look at this messy place, Beatrix scolded. Everyone knows a good meal tastes better in a clean castle. Clean, the giant said. What's that? Beatrix the Buttermaid told the giants what to do. They swept and scrubbed, junked the junk, and put everything back in its proper place. The rude giants worked so hard they were hungrier than ever. Cow, they bellowed, reaching for Gerda. We want cow. Moo, cried Gerda. Stop, Beatrix exclaimed. How can you think about eating the finest cow in all the land if you don't have manners? Everyone knows a lack of manners ruins a good meal. Manners? The rude giant shouted. Show us manners or we'll squish you flat. Beatrix the buttermaid told the giants what to do. 
They learned how to speak in pleasant voices, take tiny bites, and sip, not slurp. Boom, 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 the giant stomachs rumbled like thunder beyond the mountains. We eat cow now, they shouted, forgetting their manners. The rude giants reached for Gerda. Moo, moo, Gerda cried. Not yet, Beatrix the buttermaid exclaimed. If you are going to eat the finest cow in all the land, there's still one more thing you must do to make, your, make her taste delicious. Tell us, please, the rude giant said, trying to be polite. Oh, please tell us. You must make yourselves beautiful, the buttermaid said. Beautiful, the giants exclaimed. What's that? Give Gerda to me, Beatrix said, and we will show you. The buttermaid and the cow worked together. They filled a tub with water and told the giants how to take a bubble bath. They curled and combed the giant's hair in fancy ways. Then they sewed the softest cloth into lovely outfits. Now just look at yourselves, the buttermaid said. How could two beautiful giants like you, who live in a clean castle and have good manners, eat my dear friend Gerda the cow? The giants peered into a mirror. They couldn't believe their eyes. The giantess fluttered her long eyelashes and smiled sweetly. The giant smoothed back his glistening hair and raised one giant eyebrow. My dear, he said to his giant wife, you look simply divine. And you, she said to her giant husband, look handsome indeed. Moo, Gerda said in her sweetest voice. The giants looked at the cow. Their giant stomachs growled as they licked their giant lips. Bending down low, they whispered in the buttermaid's ear, Hungry, we are still very hungry. What are we to do? Beatrix knew what to do. She left the castle, hurried to the village, and rang the bells. From far and near, the villagers gathered around. That evening, as the sun set behind the mountains, the butter maid led the villagers up the path to the giant's castle. Everyone brought something from home. With a pot of this and a jug of that, there was plenty for all. From now on, the giant proclaimed, we'll have a party every week, and all of our friends are invited, the giantess agreed. Now the giants were very happy. In time, they had a giant baby. Much to their surprise, the child soon grew to be ruder than they had ever been. Of course, they knew what to do. The giants sent their rude child to the finest teachers in all the land. Beatrix the Buttermaid and Gerda the Cow. Let's 
Rude Giants by Audrey Wood.